hello guys and welcome to this quick grease pencil tutorial this is a little something a poster that i did to contribute just a little tiny bit anything we do even if we are feeling helpless will add up to create a better freer and more just future so this is not a hard to make piece i'll show you how i trace the map and how i created the kofia pattern and if you want the final file it is free on my gumroad you can get it so here we are in a new file I changed the dimensions to a poster's dimensions. I added a reference image to my camera. Here under the camera properties, background images, you enable this and you add your image file. And then we can select our stroke, go to draw mode and select the pen. Can maybe increase the brush size a little bit, F. And we can start drawing. Let's enable this guy, auto merge. So this is the only trick I used here to trace my map. So now both strokes are merged together. Shift middle mouse button and again close to this point and we start tracing. Don't worry if the path is not exact. We will fix it later. We will just trace it roughly. I'm doing a very bad job of it and here did it connect here yes it connected here but not here so let's go to edit mode tab and select the stroke and do f to fill it and then we can go to sculpt mode i think i'm going to decrease the opacity here let me enable or disable lock object modes so that i can select my camera and change its settings so here yes depth in front and now we can see the edges of our reference and back again to our stroke select it and see that we are quickly back to sculpt mode and that's because of this guy here the zabit let me increase the brush size a little bit we are of course using the push tool and we can start sculpting our strokes so make sure that the edge of the map is in the center of our strokes of course we don't have to be perfect about it i will put this reference image also in my gum road with the final file and we can use shift left click to smooth shift left click and drag We can select the camera again and disable our background image and increase the opacity again. Rename this edge and we can duplicate it. Duplicate and rename this one mask. Let's enable auto lock layers Y and T. With the mask layer selected, we can go to the materials panel, select our solid fill. Let's go to edit mode. Yes, the stroke is selected and I can assign the fill to it. So now we have a filled map and we have a stroke map too. Let's put this on top. Now we can name this painting maybe. Enter and put it here under the edge. And you can start painting or drawing. Let's unhide these two layers. And now in this painting layer, we can select one of these brushes and you can paint your flag, for example. And then you can mask this painting layer. So here in the masks, you select the mask layer and you have your paintings constrained inside the map. And now I want to add a Kofia IYA layer. And in this layer, I want to draw my Kofia pattern seems that it's using the dots material this is annoying let's do Control z choose the solid stroke and pin it and let's start draw a pattern let's make it wider than the whole width of the map it means from this side and from this side so I'll zoom in and start drawing let's go to edit mode enable overlays L. I want to duplicate it. Let's do Z to restrain it. Control M to mirror it and Z. Enter. And now G and move it here. And we need some adjustments. So we go to sculpt mode. Enable stroke select. This one, this upper one is selected and we can sculpt it without touching the other one. Let's try to make them on the same level. Maybe we can smooth shift. 
Let's try to level the top two. So this one a little bit down. This two. Some smooth in. Let's select the other stroke and we do the same. You can zoom in to make the brush size smaller relative to the shape instead of using F to change its size. Try to level these two. So now back to edit mode and we select everything A, Shift T to duplicate, Z to restrain on the Z axis and we have this. Maybe we can sculpt these guys a little bit. Back again to sculpt mode, tap to right to adjust. Back to edit mode, Shift T, Z and move here. And I think I will do it one more time. So Shift T, Z. And now I can try Shift R. Shift R, Shift R, Shift R, Shift R. Nice. We can do the same with these upper ones. So what happened? The selection tool is not selected. Let's select it. And I was moving this guy and I didn't notice. Okay, so Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. Let's select these two guys. Control L to select both. Shift T, Z and move them here. Shift R and Shift R. And we are done. Let's select everything. And I think this disable of lace. It's too thick. So I will make it thinner by doing Alt S and like this and now we can fill these holes here let's go to draw mode let's select our bucket tool we select a solid fill and we select black from here and of course it will only fill to the edge here and that's actually what we need but i want it let's do ctrl z to fill the whole circle i will go in there advanced i will first disable visual ads so that one click is enough to fill and then i change layers here from visible to active so that it only takes the active layer into account when filling shapes one click here and again here and now we can mask this layer so we add a mask here and we choose our mask layer again now if you see this reference image you see that the lines are not straight that's because they are i don't know stitches or something it's a fabric and it's very easy to do this effect in blender with the noise modifier let's add a noise modifier modifiers noise and we select here under influence our kufia layer and we have this cool effect here we can play this i like it they look like eyes <laughs> reduce the position randomness here and let's increase the noise scale maybe increase again the noise and if you don't have enough geometry to have smooth curves you can add a subdivide modifier and put it before the noise modifier so that you add more geometry and you can have better resolution again let's play with the noise modifier maybe decrease the noise scale add some thickness randomness too and you play with this and i think here we are good if you wish you can reduce the opacity you can animate the noise or you can also disable randomize and have a static look like this and if you wish to you can also apply your modifiers the subdivide and the noise modifier what i did next was add in text and at first it wasn't organized like this i just wrote my text and then used edit mode and sculpt mode to move the text and resize it and sculpt it a little bit and there is one effect that you may wonder how i did this one here with the white stroke so this can be easily done if you just write your text and then duplicate this text to another layer and increase the thickness then change the color but i did it with another simpler but dirty method let's try to write a letter a for example go to edit mode enable overlays let me select my letter duplicate it shift d and then escape and then i can go to a vertex paint and change its color to maybe red here we should enable selection first stroke select so that only the selected stroke will be painted so again paint set color attribute and then back to edit mode we do stroke arrange and put the selected lines behind all the other strokes so we do send to back and then i do alt s to increase the size and i have this 
So you see it was very simple and in the same layer. But now if I want to move these strokes behind or change their colors again, etc. It will be very hard to select them because they overlap with the other strokes. So I guess this is it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. See you in another video. And as always, peace.